بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوڈے وی ول ٹاک اباؤٹ اے ویری امپورٹنٹ ٹاپک اف ابسٹیٹک اینڈ دیٹ از پارٹوگرام پارٹوگرام از اے نیم گیون ٹو گرافک ریکارڈنگ اف دی ایونٹس اکرنگ ڈیورنگ لیبر اینڈ وٹ ار دی ایڈوانٹیجز اف پارٹوگرام فرسٹ اف آل آل دی نیسیسری انفارمیشن از آن ون شیٹ اف پیپر اینڈ دی ابنارمیلٹیز ار ریکگنائزڈ ایٹ اے گلانس دی ٹائپ اف ابنارمیلٹی اینڈ اٹس ریسپونس ٹو کریکٹیو میئرز کین ایزیلی بی اسسڈ Secondly, filling the partogram is time-saving over descriptive writing. Thirdly, it has an educational value for all grades of staff members. Fourthly, the transfer of information is easy in case of change of staff or when the senior opinion is sought. Now, what are the components of partogram? The partogram consists of patient's data, the cervicogram, descent of presenting part, the time, the fetal heart rate, uterine contraction, oxytocin, liquor, analgesia, drugs, IV fluids, vitals, and the urine record. Let us talk about the patient's data on partogram. And that includes name of the patient, duration of gestation, date and time of admission, and state of labor, including the PV findings, the pains, show, rupture of membranes, etc. at the time of admission. Now, let us talk about cervicogram, which is a very important component of partogram as it exhibits the pattern of cervical dilatation. The initial dilatation is measured either at induction of the labor or on admission and is plotted on cervicogram as X at time zero. The dilatation on every subsequent examination is then plotted against time since the first examination. All the X are then joined with a line. The line developed in this manner should ideally lie to the left of the thick black line which is oblique tangential line and that is called the alert line. So what is alert line? An action line. An alert line is a specific line on the partogram which shows cervical dilatation at the rate of 1 cm per hour in the active phase of labor. If the line of the progress of the labor extends to the right of alert line, the progress of the labor should be considered as abnormal. So here in this partogram, the green zone is normal. The yellow zone means initiation of abnormality and the onset of the red or pink zone means we have to take some action. That's why it is called an action line which is parallel and four hours to the right of an alert line. Let us talk about the descent of the presenting part. The level of the head in the maternal pelvis can be assessed by two methods. First of all, when assessed by vaginal examination, the level is plotted on the graph as centimeter above and below the ischial spine and is represented by a dot, as you can see here. The presence of the caput and molding interfere with the accuracy of such assessment. Then, at an abdominal examination, the level of the head is assessed at fifth palpable. The sagittal suture positions on the partogram are represented like this on the partogram. Let us talk about the time on the partogram. The time is recorded in hours. The zero time for spontaneous labor is a time of admission and for induced labor is a time of induction. Now, why is it important to record the time? The recording of time is essential to learn about the duration of the labor. Let us talk about the fetal heart rate on the partogram. When the continuous fetal heart rate monitoring is not available, the graph for the fetal heart recording is used on the partogram. The fetal heart rate recording is used every 30 minutes and is recorded as dot. These dots are then joined with a line. What is the advantage of these recording? The variation in fetal heart rate pattern can be easily observed at a glance. That is the advantage of fetal heart rate recording. Let us talk about the uterine contraction on the partogram. The uterine contraction are plotted in a graph in a manner showing their frequency, which means the number of contractions in 10 minutes and the strength according to duration. In the partogram, there are vertical columns of five squares. The squares are shaded in this manner. First of all, the dots. The dots for mild contractions means the contraction of less than 20 seconds in duration. The cross hatching for the moderate contractions of duration of less than 40 seconds. Also, we can use the oblique lines for the moderate contractions. And 
and blocking for strong contractions of more than 40 seconds in durations. The number of blocks shaded in one vertical column show the number of contractions per 10 minute. Let us talk about oxytocin on partogram. In the space provided for oxytocin, the time of commencement, the concentration, the rate of administration and subsequent increments of oxytocin are recorded. For example, at 12 pm, about 10 units per 1 liter of oxytocin is started at the rate of about 8 drops per minute, which is then increased to 16 depending upon the uterine contractions. As you can see here, let us talk about the liquor and membrane status on the partogram. The time of rupture of membrane and the color of liquor is noted. Any subsequent change in the color of the liquor is recorded. For example, at 10 a.m. or let us say 2 p.m. is the time of rupture of membrane. So whatever the time is, we will write it down. Now, here are some important alphabets which we use like I stands for intact membranes. C stands for clear liquor. M stands for meconiums and G123 stands for the grades of meconium which we write. And B stands for bloodstained liquor, liquor and A for the absent liquor. Let us talk about analgesia recording on partogram. Depending upon the type of analgesia administered, the appropriate abbreviations are used to fill the partogram. E for epidural, I for inhalational, INJ for systemic analgesia, TP for top of dose of epidural analgesia and the time of administration of analgesia is also noted. Let us talk about the drugs recorded in partogram. Any drug administered during labor is entered in appropriate square according to the time of administration. For example, injection metronidazole at 1 am. Let us talk about intravenous fluid on partogram. The type and the quality of the fluid administered are noted in appropriate square of the partogram. Let us discuss vitals on the partogram. In the space for the vitals, we record the blood pressure which is represented by vertical dotted lines. The temperature by writing it down, the pulse by dots and the circle and dots are then joined by separate lines to represent the pattern of temperature and the pulse and also BP. Coming to the last point, urine record on partogram. The amount of urine passed is noted. The positive finding on examination of urine is entered in the appropriate square for time and those findings are like presence of protein or acetone etc. So that's all I have it for today. I would like to end my presentation with this quote. At times our own light goes out and is rekindled by a spark from another person. Each of us has the cause to think with the deep gratitude of those who have lighted the flame within us. So learn gratitude. Thank you so much. Wish you all the best. Allah Hafiz.